In this video, I'll be talking about control chart data. So first the scenario. Let's say a software company is looking at the load times of one of its particular programs. And on any one day, the software developer takes a sample size of seven. So seven different instances of someone trying to run this program online. And then how long does it take for this program to come up? from the very quick, this would be rounding to two, de um, to two decimal places of a second, so a hundredth of a second. So if it's less than 0 0.01 seconds, it'll just register as zero seconds, up to 0 0.71 seconds or longer on some of these you see. Now for every day, for every uh, sample, every sample size of seven, we have a mean, so a mean of these seven numbers and then all the way down for each of these days, and a range, that's the highest value of the day, minus the lowest value of the day. So that's the mean and the range, that's what these are. The collection of means will then be analyzed, and we'll look at the mean of the means, so the average of all of these daily means and also the average of all of these ranges and we'll see that in the following screen that I'll show you. Now to uh, to find all of this information certainly you could you could do it all by hand there are but there are also a number of software programs and add-ins into Excel the one I'm gonna show you is Megastat. Megastat you could find online or it may be with your uh, statistics textbook so Megastat and then quality process control charts and we'll choose all of this data. No, notice that I am not choosing the day, uh, the numbers in the day because that's not part of the data. That's just the numbering, just an organization of, of what the data is. Now Excel, this particular program knows that we have, it's, it's standard procedure to have the each sample in a row so that's, that's the way it recognizes that. So it sees this top row is one sample and the second row is another and, and so on. What we want, we want a control chart. We're just going to do the uh, X bar, that's the mean, and R, the range. I'm not going to click on, on OK because I've got this already, but you would click on OK. And we'll go to the output. And we've got a quality control process chart. Sample size, seven, little summary here. We've got 52 different samples. And here's what I was talking about. The mean of the means is 0 0.0835. And the mean of the ranges is 0 0.3915. Now, how do we find these other numbers? The lower control limit and the upper control limit, as we see on these graphs. The lower control limit is the mean, this 0 0.0835, minus, now we're going to look at this. This is called a control chart constant or a table of control chart constants and we're going to use a2 because we're using range and not standard deviation so we're going to use these numbers and we're looking at the numbers that correspond to a sample size of seven so what we've done here or what the the program did for you is it takes this mean 0 0.0835 and then subtract from that a2 the 0.419 times the mean of the ranges, times 0.3915. So certainly something you could, you could do by hand or, or with Excel without this program, it would just take a little bit longer. So that's the lower control limit, and that's what we see here on this graph. The upper control limit, as you guessed, probably have guessed, is this mean 0 0.0835 plus A2 times the mean of the ranges. And you see that right here with the dotted lines. So you've got the center, the lower, and the upper. With the range numbers, we have the, uh, we're not doing plus or minus, we're just doing the, the range, or the mean of the ranges, times this D3, times this D3 column. So 0 0.076 times 0.3915 gives you 0 0.0298. And the upper range is going to use D4, the number in the D4 column, so 1.924, that co corresponds to a sample size of seven. So the range, the mean of the range is multiplied by the 1.924, and that gives you 0.7533. Okay, so now we've got where those numbers come from. Now, what about 
the control chart. What do we have here? Well, is something going wrong with uh, with their program or their server or something so that they're they're getting is it just natural variation or is something going outside of these control limits? Well, we see twice that it goes out of the control limits, two different times. And that says that it's not just on that particular day. It may be perhaps uh, something, a larger problem with, uh, with the system, with the server or, or their program. So, so they want to look more closely at that. Um, and by the way, when people look at control charts, they look at the the means, the X bar chart, as well as the R chart. Usually those go hand in hand. And and we can see uh, quite a few times the range uh, goes outside of the lower and the upper control limits for the ranges. So there's a brief look at some control chart data.